everyone, this is Cindy with Queen of the Heart, and I wanted to jump back on and just do a really quick video um, for a birthday card that I made for my niece. Her birthday is um, today when I'm filming the video, and she's turning 12, so her and Lily, my Lily, are going to be the same age for the next almost six months, and so they're really, really, really close. But what I love about my niece is that she loves all the things I love. She loves Star Wars. Um, she loves Harry Potter. Um, and it's funny because my kids aren't really into that, which is a little sad for me. But anyway, so it's fun for me to pull out some of my stuff and make her a card. So I pulled out um, a couple of things from the sweet shop. And I also am using my main one is from... Geez, let me see if I can find that for you guys because I want to show you. Um, Dawn, I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> I, I was in the middle of doing a class, so um, I don't know where it went. Um, but anyway, I did use the just the broom in this one, and I used the um, Have a Magical Birthday in this one. These are all the sweet shop. She doesn't do anything anymore which is kind of disappointing and I did the friends till the end but my main images all came from the honor shoot I forget what it's called honor society or honor something and it's from the greeting farm and it's um, a little mini greeting farm stamp set and it has all the little people so they they look like you can make them look oh there it is oh, sorry about that <sighs> Gave me uh, honor students and so you can make the little people like color them up so that they look like Harry Potter people so I use that and I use the sunglasses out of this greening farm which is called Miss Anya Buckles so that I can make my my Harry even though like this one has a super cute Harry and um, Hermione but anyway I, I went with this one. And I'm using my brand new Witches and Wizards Echo Park paper pad, which is really, really, really cute. Just adorable. Um, adorable. So there's that. But here is my card. And I kept it really simple. So I cut out my three um, people. I cut out my Hermione. I made her Hermione. I made him Harry. And I made him um, Ron. And so I just, and I have the dies that go with these as well. So I just cut them out. I colored them in with my Copics. For his scarf, I went ahead and kind of made it into the Gryffindor colors. And they're all in Gryffindor colors. So they're in yellow and burgundy. And then his um, scarf, I just made my own stripes. You can see the sunglasses there. I used my dies to cut them out. And then all I did was I used the letter paper, which I thought was cute, and just solemnly, solemnly swear, friends till the end, and then have a magical birthday. So I'll just write tequila and from all of us. And so I just thought it was a really simple, cute, fun little card. Um, and I think that if you have any images that look like these you know just kind of sort of plain like images you almost can turn them into characters and there's a lot of stamps out there that have a rift on harry potter i really do like this one because i like the size of them these guys are kind of small Let's see this, like because like, they're kind of small these are really small i think these ones would work really well like if you had like a castle and you needed like little, even littler ones. These are good for that. Um, but if you can get a hold of these, now she's no longer in business. She closed up her shop last year, I believe. And I was lucky enough to get these ones. And I even think I have the dies for all. I don't know if I have the dies for this one. I might somewhere. But I'm pretty. I was able to get the dies. Oh yeah, here it is. This is the wizard's die. It goes with this one. So I do have all the dies. And so I just am loving it. So anyway, here's my card. I'm using this new Witches and Wizards Echo Park paper pad. It's adorable. Thank you so much for watching. This is Cindy Crane Heart.